Welcome back to another episode of Another Time, Another Place. Just like everybody else, I couldn't avoid the cold. But that didn't stop us from doing some work on the boat. We put the dining table in and some cabinetry under the bed, as well as got the seat in for the driver and the captain and the refrigerator. I hope everybody enjoys this episode 12. Uh, remember to put thumbs up, share, definitely subscribe if you haven't. It is a free way to help the channel. So I've never, this is what they say happens here. I've never seen it yet, but the bay is frozen. However, by this afternoon, it's going to thaw out. So basically in the morning, you have to fight your way through thin ice to get out of here. The other thing is, for people who like to dry dock their boats, everyone does this down here. Every, like every fifth dock has it. Basically, you pull your boat in, the bottom of that fills up with air from this air pump, and it brings your boat out of the water. So your boat's never sitting in the water. Now, a lot of these boats, as I go down here, for instance, this nice boat over here, pretty much any of the really nice boats have it. So. There's no difference between what this boat is doing right here, being above the lake, out of the water, and then being on a trailer at your house. No difference. And it's actually roofed in a little bit, so. And then it's just on air, basically. It's on a floating pontoon in the water. It's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go see I don't know. I'm going to step on the boat and see what happens. And it's going to be weird. I wonder if the boat just won't move. Like if it's frozen in place. No. We'll see. So all the boards while you're walking, they normally flex when you step on them, but now they crack. Because they're frozen. Let's go on here. See, river goes on here. Come on. Get on. Okay, the boat didn't move at all with him. It's okay, River. Come here. Come on. Inside. Go inside. Come on. So right now it's like 20, 20 some degrees and it's pretty warm in the boat with just the electric heater. So if it gets below like around zero, it just doesn't work. In fact, if you look the water, is frozen so imagine your feet is you know you'd have to be up on the bed all night or whatever but when you turn on the propane one it's warm as, it doesn't matter it's warm as heck in here this is pretty cool the boat's not the boat's not swaying when I move left to right it just kind of broke down in the ice and now it's locked down in the place that it's at <laughs> that's kind of cool it's like it's a cabin though Oh, there's ice frozen behind the door. That's no good. It's crazy. So I got the refrigerator back here. I figured a couple things work here. The propane tank for the shower and hot water is going to be right behind that wall which allows me to use the cable that came with the refrigerator to hook up the propane. So it's convenient. Also, you can when you're driving and you're in the driving seat here, you can actually reach over and grab, you know, whatever you need to drink or grab a sandwich or what have you. Um, with this boat only going five miles an hour, I figure that the, when you start driving, you're going to be driving for an hour or two no matter what. So you're going to want to be able to get refreshments. I also... Ran to the hardware store and I bought some live edge here, about 12 inches wide, and that's going to run along here to be a table right here. And I'll put a couple of bench, one or two stools underneath it for people to eat, but it'll also serve as additional counter space, which we really need in here. Then I also bought a cabinet that I'm going to put underneath the bed, and we'll uh, we'll get to that in this episode as well. I'm 
try to make this cabinet fit underneath here just like this does so I want to have raw edge right there just like there is right here I don't know that I'm gonna be able to run raw edge all the way across because of the gap there it would just be a waste of wood but I'll probably use the cedar fencing to fill in the rest of that gap like I did over here. So the first thing I'm doing on this side is I'm putting in, I'm replacing this 2x4 that's holding up the bed with this board right here. That way I can fit the, I can build the cabinet in underneath the bed. So we got the table in and just pretty much additional counter space too. Um, so the cedar fencing basically covers up up top there and then jumps down down here. And the edged wood, hard edged wood is on both sides. Once I stain that part it'll actually look the same as this one. Once it's stained it'll pop out the same. So make it match and that to me is enough storage for food and cans and what have you I'm gonna put a little shelving corner shelving unit right in here and that will hold pots and pans and um, the silverware is right up there and I'll also probably hang some coffee cups right along in here I'm gonna hang some scotch glasses and some wine glasses above the bar with a light going down towards them uh, with a couple different really nice shelves too so that will come in the next couple of weeks um, but so basically we got the kitchen pretty much done I'm gonna buy stools that match the back driver's seat however they won't have a back on them they'll just be flat stools and then they'll kind of slide under and fit completely underneath that table um, I like having the brown leather it matches the recliner and the captain's chair so that's probably what I'll look for and I'll probably just order them on Amazon so that's where the refrigerator is going to stay for now. I am going to remove the carpet because you can't put carpet underneath the refrigerator while it's using the propane. But like I said earlier, I think that's the best place to be because I can use the propane tank for the shower and for the refrigerator all with the same propane adapters that they come with rather than buying a whole kit. So... Um, we're going to be, now that it's going to be 60 degrees, we'll probably take the boat out to an island and work on the front. Like I said last video, I want to make a hammock, a place to hang hammocks like I had on my last boat. So we're going to be running beams off of here, down to posts right there, and a beam in the front. Um, but we'll get that started in the next couple of days. Right, Riv? Right, Riv? <laughs> So it's one degree out right now. It's gonna get up to about seven degrees. Which <coughs> makes uh, being in an RV interesting. We're gonna go check out the houseboat too. Looks like there's some ice here. I bet the bay is not iced over though. A lot of people skirted. Put a space heater underneath. But I have uh, heat tanks. So I'm good. As long as it warms up in the next couple of days. We also have cabins here that you can rent. And tenting. Okay, man.
but that's something I gotta deal with. That's not good. So, if you have an older motor where there might be water in the lower unit, you would keep the boat down and the water the motor in the water so the motor never reaches 32 degrees because the water's not freezing. So, but if you have a brand new motor, which I have over here, and you know there's no water, it's better to keep it out. And that's what I did. I don't know how all that water got into the dinghy. The wind must have been coming from the right direction. So, yeah, weird. Have a get a kiss? Oh, Merry Christmas. This is another time, another place. Season 2, episode 12. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, share with a friend. And throw a thumbs up for me. Appreciate it.